Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. This is the Full Moon in Cancer Astrology Forecast. You will have first the opportunity to look at the star map, so the placements of where the planets are for this full moon, what type of energies we can expect from those placements. We're going to look also at some wild feminine asteroid because they're being activated in such great ways for this last lunar event of the year to really transform you and remove obstacles so you can start 2024 in such amazing way by the way if you haven't watched your messages for 2024 you can look at them just right there all right with further ado we are going to first look at the star map and then you can skip ahead to your moon sign prediction okay i'm going to do this by elements so let's get started with this and first don't forget to like this video it supports me so much and the channel as far as its growth and expansion all right let's do this Full Moon in Cancer, December 26, 4.33 p.m. if you're located on the West Coast, so Pacific time of the United States, okay? That's what we have going on. And the Moon is in the first house. This is the house of becoming. This is very close to the horizon, so we have a dance between this energy of the soul rising and the moon that is in the degrees of cancer that is activating some type of remembrance remembrance of your true nature because it's in the first house and the opposition with the sun in those degrees of capricorn are speaking about lucidity and clarity so that's going to shine really strong activation revelation of your true nature so i'm excited about this and by the way you guys you're going to be able to look at a new frequency prosperity healing activation very shortly on my youtube channel so pay attention to this this is going to be available soon with more details now let's see what we have here as far as the next because you want to look at the story from house number one all the way to 12. Here in the third house, you're seeing that we have smack on the underworld, the Imun Koili, Lilith. Lilith. Lilith here is in the degrees of Virgo that speaks of compassion. There's a lot of empathies in those, uh, empathy, empathetic uh, reception, uh, receptivity, intuition, but it's going to also activate maybe times in your life um, that you didn't receive your share of fairness maybe there's some forgiveness that can be activated here releasing past events through releasing things that no longer serve us because some people we're not going to get the um you know apologies so if you're going to be expecting for apologies just make peace with yourself and with the situation because that's going to be a strong activation for lilith right now uh, in terms of self-talk and maybe things that happened in the family and that still reverb in your temple, your home. Kali here is destructuring and putting everything in divine order with displacement of Libra and this is unleashing self-expression. More joy, more bliss, ecstasy I heard, okay? And as we're moving here, Venus is allowing us to be more ambitious, with our desires but that's in the sixth house so that's going to be really first by uh, filling your cup your own cup so you can feel this connection to the divine we have it here with mars mars is teaching you how to move and take actions through emotional coherence with your brain your heart your soul your body and there's a lot of energy that wants to be released now because there's a lot of activity here on the descendant this is an energy that connects us to one-on-one -on -one relationship there's going to be some review especially with mercury retrograde about how the dynamics of our relationship may have affected some of those aspects here of the subconscious everything that's under the horizon is acting behind the scene 
Now, as we are getting this activation with the full moon, we're bringing more clarity in our relationships. There's definitely here in the shadows some mental prisons that are being destructured with that Pluto energy in its placement. And then we're seeing that Saturn is teaching us how to really start to get to change through the inner work of the spiritual quest and journey and really start to see the action reaction the reverb the law of resonance the law of vibration there's definitely a lot of rewards that i'm feeling from this energy that are upcoming as you're unleashing all those uh, potential things that block you um, there's definitely here with neptune in those degrees of pisces and the 10th house some type of endings as far as career, colleagues, um, area, of, area of work where you invested yourself so much. There's going to be an ending, but that means there's going to be a new beginning. And that's something that the universe wants to uh, share with you before we start this new year. 11th house, you're seeing this is very much connected to yourself, humanity, how you perceive the world, your network, and we have a lot going on here. Chiron in retrograde, the North Node, Jupiter retrograde, Uranus retrograde. So there's a lot of change as far as how maybe we're related to our own power, whether we were capable of certain things, and the way you perceive the world is going to give you a little bit of insight of how much power you have available to you. And it's true that with current you know, global events, it can feel as weakening. And this is where that Pluto energy is going to be really supportive. As you're seeing, there's, there's some energies connected with that 11th house to the 8th house. So you want to really look at your own mental prisons and how maybe it affects your aura and your vibration. Medusa is going to help with the um, releasing of certain subconscious patterns that blocked you. You know, Medusa with this turning into stone energy, um, there's certain things that may have kept you from moving forward that are going to be unleashed. All right, that's what I have as far as just a global <laughs> little quick outlook on the astrology forecast for this full moon. Let's jump to your oracles according to your moon sign. All right, let's do this. Water moon sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces moon. Let's see first what you have in this pile. This is moon energy cards that I personally love when I read those lunar events. Let's see what you have first. Ooh, caring connections. Door to value. Financial constraints. Blossoming abundance that came in the reverse. Okay, we'll move through this energy block together. Okay. The thinking man. Contract. Community in the reverse. And walking away. Okay, I like this energy. Water moons. I do, I do. So what it seems, and especially if you've watched the astrology forecast, so you know a little bit about what's going on. There's some dynamics between the first house, seventh house, which is who we're becoming, the self, and that relationship to others and i feel that with this first row here that usually i associate with what we see consciously and what we don't see here subconsciously underneath that there was some ties 
And I'm saying ties because I'm looking at what's going on under the surface. There was ties to certain ways of relating to your own worth that were constraining your aura, your energy, your vibration. And it's as if I feel that some of you, I wouldn't be surprised that you may have invested a lot or on and off of your energy, but it never really in the past really gave you a good balance of how much your potential could be, how much you invested. There was definitely here, you know, some things you had to look at from a more rational perspective. Maybe things that you accomplished things about your growth, the multifaceted or some different type of skills that you have. Maybe you're very multiple in your abilities, but maybe because of how we relate, especially here with community, you felt that you had to box yourself. It could have been for some of you through a relationship through a dynamic or karmic contract with, that could be family, that could be, uh, you know, things that you inherited, especially as I'm feeling the energy here of Lilith in the underground, you know, uh, world uh, with that Imun Koili placement where it is very much about how you're going to talk to yourself, especially connected to how you were raised, how you inherited certain patterns. So there might have been some self-worth that had to be discovered. As it had to be discovered, there was definitely some type of reason, very divinely almost written in the stars, in your stars. You could have something in uh, your Saturn placement or some type of revelation in your chart. Some of you, if you know a little bit about your chart or you're interested in getting to know your chart, this full moon might be, you know, releasing something as far as what's happening um, in terms of your value. You see here, it's almost like you were still blinded by how much you had. There was maybe some limitation with the masculine aspect, the rational aspect, as far as what you're capable of doing, especially in comparison to what society wanted you to be. And I feel that here, this is, this is where we're walking away from that experience. I feel very interestingly that I want an ISIS message. I have a couple of decks and I didn't, couldn't make up my mind because that might be, I might be using different decks for different moon signs, but I feel there's some mother energy, some, some type of fertile um, rebirth. There's, there's some renewal that is occurring with this full moon for you. Yeah, I saw this abundance of, I saw this card and I did not pick it. This is just so interesting because Okay, we'll see if it pull, it comes back again. I'm going to take this one. But I saw this card that stood out in my eyesight. And I know it was the abundance of soft. It was this, this, and I did not pick it. Maybe when I keep on saying this, almost like a regret or something that maybe there's an opportunity that you feel like you missed or maybe in terms of time you missed your door of opportunity or maybe there is that's something that you're telling yourself okay or maybe society is saying it's too late you're too old you're too this you're not enough that but there's something as far as maybe feeling that we missed our chance okay for this abundance and I'm feeling that maybe also in a relationship, maybe there's a certain regret 
Okay, and that could be revealing. You know, relationships are very, very reflective. They're mirrors. They're mirrors of what's going on inside of you. So whatever is going on in your relationship mirrors a lot back to you of how you're dealing with this yin-yang energy within yourself. Okay, so let's see what we have. Mother of life. When life seems dry, depleted, filled with repetitive tasks, or simply stagnant and stifled, Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to revive even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances in your life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave and open your arms to receive. I feel breath. Breath work is so important for you. It's almost like understanding how to revive inside of yourself, inside of your auric field. How to bring back to life, how to remove the weeds and how to allow the new soil, the new seeds, the new chemistry of who you've become, that evolution, that cosmic potent evolution and bring it to life once more. Okay, so there's many techniques as far as breath. You know, there's some of you, you've meditated with me or you've done some of my workshops. I will probably have more events like this 2024, <laughs> definitely. Um, there's definitely some, and I'm saying definitely, definitely. I'm insisting for you, water signs, to deepen your awareness and knowledge about breath work. Different types of breath gives you different type of results. And I feel for you, it, it could be, and here this is where I want to have Cali energy. Okay, she's unleashing things. Kali energy, there's this definitely a new breath, a new, a new phase, a new chapter, a new story for you, water elements. Wow. Some of you, if you don't know, I feel I want to share this with you if you meditate. Uh, you have a mudra that's called Kali, and this is Kali mudra. You put all your fingers together and your thumbs crossed and you pump just like a <laughs> shooting. You're releasing that energy um, through your index fingers. And yeah, that could be very powerful as far as this energy. This is interesting because um, in certain different principles, this is actually connected to the air element, okay? As far as uh, mudra and, um, and Sanskrit mudras and mantras. And I would say here that comes back to the thinking men. There might be some principles as far as your thoughts, your thought patterns that you want to release the air, the swords. I wouldn't be surprised that could have been a sword energy here. That's what we have. Kali. I saw something else. It's almost like I saw some flower energy that wanted to bloom and I just, I kept on going. I feel that there's a call for you to pay more atten attention and intention to your intuition. I feel that maybe you want to slow down water signs for that moon placement of yours, okay? You want to slow down because it seems that maybe some of you don't realize you're repeating certain habits out of certain matrices of your old self. And this is an opportunity to remove a specific pattern a specific, it's going to be according to you, maybe a certain thought about yourself, a certain perception. Just felt it. It's just very weird to me. I don't usually feel that. 
interesting because I was going to say this, that might be in the root chakra, but when you're doing also the mudra, so the symbol with the hands for the chakras, this is associated with the root. So you might have something at the root and root is also connected to Saturn, <laughs> Saturn energy and Uranus energy. Okay, so we saw that also in the activation. There's a metamorphosis. You had to go through certain things that may have also depleted you, feeling constrained by society, by uh, those labels, but there, and maybe feeling financially, you know, the weight of constriction when there's so much abundance inside of yourself because the universe wanted you to find that abundance within not just through the material illusion of things. Let's see what we have. Face your fears for it is the right time and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Recognize your inner divine badass and commit to your dreams with conviction. I love this. So this is where I feel that was the constraint. Others, society, what people think you should be, you should do. We're removing that. We're moving beyond that. All right. Let's see if I can recommend to you some frequency healing here. I have a new album that's going to be released very shortly. You guys pay attention for this release. This is going to be about your true abundant nature. This is so in alignment with everything. I feel so blessed to have channeled different binaural beats, so different alternative states of brain waves that when you put together, create such great effect. There's going to be different series, different activation. So I'm looking forward to this. I wanted to share this news with you uh, so you can look forward to this. How many? Okay, well, there's three and we're going to take them. Okay. Healing the spiritual warrior. This is very much about your empathy and your boundaries. So you might want to look at this. Okay. Soul fragments retrieval. That happens when we have very harsh, um, you know, uh, dynamics sometimes in relationship, whether it's family, friends, co-workers, community, you know, how people label ourselves and us, us each other. Um, there could have been some fragmentation, you know, a, a lost part of yourself that you had to abandon. So that could be helpful together. And the ones that have access to the YouTube membership, and by the way, if you already are paying for uh, YouTube access so you don't have the ads, they're offering you a whole free month so you can access those frequencies. This is inner child sovereignty. Some of you could have been something from childhood. So that's what I have for you, Water Elements. I'm so excited. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. If you need personal guidance, you have all the details in the description box. Namaste. Air, moon signs, so moon in Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Let's see what we have for this full moon activation in the sign of Cancer. So door to value. Lovely. Deceit. The seven chakra and Archangel Uriel in reverse. Action. Happy family in the reverse. Woman holding a coin with the reverse. In the reverse. 
angel of love in the reverse. Realize when there's reversal, we're working through all of this because we have to, those are messages of what needs to be brought up to the surface. And that's why, you know, you're watching those oracle readings, astrology readings is to be in a, alignment with your divine source and self, you know. And second chakra with Archangel Ariel in the upright. And I actually love this story for you. Air signs for the moon placement. I do. Because this is usually what we're seeing on the surface and what happens in the subconscious. Definitely seeing that there was some limited perception of what you were capable of achieving. But especially in terms of, you, you had to connect to source. You had to connect to a part of you that was greater than the lower self, than the ego self, than even the materialism, the attachment I'm feeling, especially with the coin energy. But it feels that there was there was here with this energy, I feel the Ishtar energy, the sacred feminine energy, Venus, Aphrodite, your beauty that was dimmed, that was being, you know, shone away. Maybe because of certain principles of education or maybe certain things that occurred in your family household as a child, as a young adult, or as an adult, some, something that kept your sacred feminine, especially a lot of purple, your connection to knowing you are a spiritual being was being dimmed. And here, it almost didn't make you realize how lovable you are in your heart, in your soul. But it seems that you've been doing and you've been called to do a lot of work on yourself to recalibrate because there's these actions. So you took charge, you took action, and you're still doing it. And I feel with this second chakra, even with this mo mother, <laughs> this woman holding a coin, there could have been a mother figure. It could have been some womb he trauma, womb healing to do. Maybe, you know, giving birth to a family. What does that mean? Role gender, you know, a lot of, of societal constrictions that had to be overcome, that had to be healed, that had to be faced. So there's just so much potential that I feel from all those blocks. It's almost like so much energy is vibrating and waiting to be unleashed, okay? I feel Medusa's energy here with the subconscious, whatever was freezing you almost in time and space, repeating certain patterns is going to be unleashed. Let's get an Isis um, message here. Wow, it's flying. <laughs> Scales of balance. Very much about this energy. You had to rebalance your perception of your feminine, especially feminine whatever has scarred the feminine energy because it, you know this this is crown this is love archangel uriel also works with archaea grace there could have been some things that you had to surrender so being too much in control is very masculine is very mind attachment so you probably had to learn the art of surrendering so you could actually the tr see the truth of what was within you. Almost like this treasure chest that I'm feeling. 
<laughs> All right, let's continue with the scales of balance here with Mother Isis. Balancing, give and take, directing and flowing, play and solitude are ways to heal the relationship between the inner masculine and feminine energies. Connection with the body is the most powerful form of healing for the feminine energy as it holds the secrets to divine feminine wisdom. So dance, sing, play. Some of you, you know that I illustrate all this cosmic energy through dance, through what I see. It's almost like when I see people dance and then when I put all those things together, the messages, the music, I see the soul dance. So there's an unleashing of your soul wanting to dance and play, but at the same time, still have a grasp and understanding of the wisdom, the value of your knowledge and how to work this together. Let's get a Cali message as far as how can you get support for this transformation? Because I'm still, in, I'm still, I'm still feeling... I'm still feeling this. I'm still like struggling with this unleashing. Let's get Mother, Mother Goddess Cali to help us. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. If I'm not mistaken, another masculine energy here. Look at this. It says Mantra Shakti. Do not allow negative thought or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to express yourself from your heart. Though it may not yet be visible in your physical world, a new order is generating within the soul and in time it shall manifest in a transformation that heals your inner world and improves your physical life circumstances too. There might be a hold up from this because of the speech, you know, how we talk about ourselves, of our experience. We saw that Lilith is, was in displacement of the underworld, the immun coily, not the public life, but the private life. How do you relate to yourself when you're by yourself? How do you speak to yourself, of yourself? Do you support yourself? Yeah. So let's see what I can support you with in terms of frequency because it is definitely something that wants to be released so you can enter 2024 in such great, amazing ways because there's just such a vibration of abundance for 2024. It's a year eight, you know, in a cycle of one to nine for years, we're getting to the climax. You're getting to, to all the results. So year eight, you know, it's starting 2017, a year one of this cycle. You're about to reap so much from all the way back to 2017. Okay. All right. So we have for you healing the spiritual warrior. In the description box of this video, it's part of the super empath. Go and check out the specific negative conditioning. And once you find the one that resonates the most, I would strongly suggest that you repeat the mantra with the frequency. And I'll tell you why I'm saying this. Oh, the same one came up. Because here it says mantra shakti. So you might want to do this, okay? You have the same frequencies that came up for the water signs, the soul fragments retrieval as well. When we have certain experiences, especially also when we claim certain things, oh, I, I'm not good enough, I suck at this, I can't do it, all those things, they split your timelines. So you might have some splits where moments you felt very strongly about what you were claiming in a negative way and don't feel bad about this. This is part of your experience and learning curve on your spiritual quest. 
but it might have split the way you perceive yourself and may have lowered your connection to the true abundant nature that you are. By the way, that's going to be an album that's going to be for 2024, your true abundant nature. I am just so passionate about this. I'm going to be mixing some binaural beats together. Actually, it's already complete. I'm just final, final touching this for you guys. Uh, but this is part of, you know, really receiving the energies for 2024 that wants you to really have access to all the value that you are, all the love that you are, all the potential from creation, you know, that you can have material abundance from the feminine and seeing this blooming unfolding of your true self, okay, your true self. So the ones that have access to the YouTube membership, you guys, you can also check out the Inner Child Sovereignty. And by the way, if you're already paying for YouTube membership for removing the ads, you can get one month access to free, you know, free upgrades to my membership. So that's a perk that they give. And I think it's so wonderful. So you can check that out as well. All right. That's what I have for you. Air, moon signs. I love this. This is so much of an blooming unfolding for you. If you need personal guidance, you have some description here of what I can offer you at this time. Sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Fire moon signs. So Aries moon, Leo moon, and Sagittarius moon. Let's see what messages we have for you for this full moon in the sign of Cancer. So door to romance. Yin yang. Nope. Appreciation. space here. In the reverse third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Okay. Angel of Strength. Angel of Balance in the reverse. All tied up. And victory in the reverse. Okay. Let's work through this. Okay. Let's work through this blocks, but there's a lot of good, great things that I feel. It's just an awareness that we have to bring to the surface. So this is usually what I see as the conscious self. And this is more of the subconscious influence in those energies. We're seeing here with this door to romance and the angel of strength underneath that you've done a lot of self love and healing on this journey so far. You've probably had to build a lot of boundaries as far as recognizing the things that empower you and disempower you and give you a great sense of your feminine, masculine, your mind, heart coherence. But it doesn't mean that for this full moon there might be something that's rocky that's rocking you okay the, in, it's for a greater awareness a greater purpose what i feel it is this is because of a certain appreciation especially of yourself i feel this is this actually was a reel that was really popular it's still very popular about spiritual growth about acknowledging how much you've accomplished and how much of that inner balance you really have. With this, 
I'm feeling that maybe some of you, if you know a little bit about your chart or how to do synastry with those moon events, you might have some Chiron activation. This reminds me of gratitude for an album that I created called The Wounded Healer. It's karmic astrology to help you activate your inner guru, your inner guide, your self-healing master and student. I used all gratitude mantras. And I feel that there can be something that is being activated for you to acknowledge maybe some block that you had as far as your solar plexus. It could have been a sense of, I already put it upright, because I feel like there's so much gold. There's so much gold. Now, this is a very much connected here with Archangel Shamriel. This is an Archangel that works with Archaea um, Charity. Okay? Now, there's different schools. This deck speaks of Archangel Shamuel with the third chakra in the solar. I know from my own perspective with the rays of the seven archangels and archaeas that this is usually connected to a color that is gold, gold purple, sometimes even associated to red as far as the rainbow, um, but usually more with Archangel Uriel and Archaea Grace. So what I feel with those two different messages from different points of view, that even when I'm trying to explain to you different points of view, I feel like you may have been influenced about how you felt about yourself because of other people's point of view, of you, <laughs> of yourself, of you. And it, it might still be a factor of how you play maybe this tape in your mind. I feel this is more masculine here. I, I, I can sense we're not going to move through this, this right now because we need Mother Isis and Mother Kali to help us. Okay, so this is where we're going to get a message, especially with this energy here with Goddess Isis, the mother. Maybe you had a parent that had some type of perception of you that made you feel depreciated or tied or there could have been some imbalances about how much you were receiving or maybe overgiving. It's, it, there's definitely a balance you had to overcome. And in this full moon is being activated for a different layer, for a different perspective to be seen by you. Let's see what we have here. Wings of Isis. Wow, I love this. You have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds. Part of your sole purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into the human culture. This oracle also brings your angelic assistance, intervention, and confirmation to. So this is interesting because you have already, this is like a lot of angel energy. This is something that tells me that you have some access to the angelic realm, to higher protections, higher being, higher consciousness. I wouldn't be surprised with this Cyrus, you know, connection, the pyramids, some type of consciousness that it's here to birth with the victory, some, some type of, of revelation for yourself, for others, for humanity. There's great strength in what you had to go through to achieve a certain outcome. Let's try to see if Goddess Kali wants to show us what type of transformation you had. That's a lot. That's a lot. We're going to have to... You had a lot. I think this is, this is a sign. You had to have a lot of 
ego death and soul rebirth okay you you've been wow fire moons i did not expect this for you um but a lot had to be to be removed out of your field it's almost like an angel that had to walk through darkness to see how much light they carried i feel this one When momentum is building and you don't know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning and stubborn mindsets, resistance to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. She will support the work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled and you shall emerge unharmed. Yeah, you definitely have something that you may have, that may have tied you. And that reminds me of my Auric Health and Wealth album as well. Where we worked a lot with releasing, especially with Scorpio season, there was a lot of composition that occurred at that time remove some of the cords of past events, past patterns. You could also be looking at my quantum fascia healing playlist. Those are suggestions, but they could be something that you've done, that you need to do, that you are suggested to do, especially to remove. So now I, I see why there was more cards, because there's, there's, a, there's a stubbornness. What is that stubbornness? This is where I, I, I did not know where this deck was going to come in. It hasn't been used for other uh, element signs. But there I feel it. There I feel it. Because I'm like, what is this stubbornness? Mindset, pattern, what is it? Because I feel like it's like, you know it and yet you don't know it. I really feel that there's something about your the root your family the, the maybe your place of birth the ten of cups in the reverse we're gonna read this ten of cups is happy family maybe you had a lot of you know um trauma in the family uh, household, let me see here, where is the water, there we go, all right, so ten of water, keywords are universal love, divine connection, centeredness, serenity, peace, oneness, boundaries, disruption, it's definitely some of you, you had no boundaries, you see here, it's also, now I'm, I'm feeling like, there was a cage. There was a cage. Maybe you had to also protect yourself. Being very... Um, maybe there was some trauma that disconnected you. Dissociation. Let's see as far as what it says as a potential blockage. Um, what? I had skipped. Sorry, you guys. Ten of water. The ten of water reverse represents a disruptive influence or belief that threats threatens your peace and calm. You may be investing too much time and emotion in something that could have no real foundation or substance. It may be that your intuition is telling you that the situation is real, but even if your intuition is correct, it could still be time to put an end to the disruption. The upright ten of water asks that you focus on the positive things in your life that brings you peace and joy, focusing your emotional energy away from things that are simply not worth your time and care will help you to accomplish this. Therefore, be careful that you are not giving life and power to shadows by focusing your time, energy, and emotions upon them. Okay, so this is about focus. Where focus goes, energy flows. There's a lot of energy that flows. You have your moon that is very much connected natally or just 
<laughs> zodiacally or astrologically to the sign of Cancer, but you are here with a fire moon. And that means that you can almost cancel yourself out. There's, there's, there's a, a precaution for this event for you to recognize that maybe you have to put down the swords and put down the uh, repetition of the story that created so much of those moments where you felt imbalanced, powerless, caged. Because you had to walk our dark darkness to actually become that strong light. How could you know your light if you had not been in the shadow, in the dark? You had to observe this and that's going to give you a sense of victory. Let's see what we can give you specifically as far as the frequencies. There might be some different aspects that I did not mention. Some of you, you may have worked with my frequencies in the past watching this. We talked about boundaries, so Super Empath was also part of this. That's actually my first frequency music album when I started doing those albums. And by the way, you guys, I have such a great one that's coming up and I wanted to share this with you now. It's going to be about your true abundant nature. This is alternating binaural beats that alternate brain waves, different states through the same uh, frequency music and the, the results are amazing and I'm feeling called to share this with you because at some point I am using the 33 Earths alternated with some different brain waves. This is tapping into the frequency of the pyramid inside of yourself, inside the pyramid, the, the physical pyramid. I just saw this very strongly for you. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, this is one that's for the membership. And let's see what we have here. Yang frequency healing. That could be for you to stop giving momentum to some of those thoughts from the past. You know, this is more mind. The Yang organs that could be either in excess or in deficit. Maybe you have, you know, your energy as far as your masculine energy that's on and off. If some of you have access to the YouTube membership, if you already pay for removing the ads, you can get one free month to access all my membership levels that's under $10, which is what I have. Um, so removing X's and X's. That was a lifesaver for me when I created this. And that was created in the Scorpio season. This is about karmic attraction, lethal attraction, but it's almost like what you tell yourself that keeps on repeating again and again and having almost feeling of no control over it, okay? So that's what I have for you, fire moon signs. I trust this is supporting you. If this supported you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also if you need personal guidance, you have description in the box below how to reach me and contact me. <laughs> Namaste. My dear Earth, Moon signs, so Moon and Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, let's see what this full Moon in Cancer has for you as far as messages. So we have first the Thinking Man. The Happy Family in the Reverse. And don't worry about any reversals. We're working with those uh, reversals and energy blocks together as we mention what needs to be brought up to the surface. Especially with full moons, we want to reveal what is yet unseen. So the first chakra with Archangel Michael in the reverse. The door to value up. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's been a little bit of a journey here. The garden and the gate in the reverse. Patience. The seventh chakra with Archangel Uriel. Oh, interesting chakra over chakra bottom top 
and the community. All right. I like it. I like it for you, Earth, Moons. Yep, I do. So how this is showing us that there was some belief. It was limiting because this is the conscious. This is the subconscious. This is what influences the some influences over this energy. And we're seeing that this is where I said there's a journey for you to get to your self-worth, your self-love. You had to revise the way you were, you had your mindset. I feel like a lot of mindset reframing. Some of you, you know that's actually something I'm passionate about with my music healing, my sound engineering. There's some limitations that probably stem from childhood, okay? Probably stem from a certain... For some reason, I have to mention it because <laughs> you're... It's the first time I've ever felt this, and that might be for some of you. It feels like maybe one of you, there's something that happened in a vacation. I feel like a vacation. There's something, or maybe a promised vacation as a child that never occurred. There's some type of vacation, or maybe leaving, vacate the house. Some of you, you could have also left the home early in age. Some of you, maybe it was actually the reverse. Okay, but there's something as far as work, vacation, vacate, definitely. And especially with the clock, whatever was limiting you and whatever occurred the way it impacted you and impacted you it seems especially in your root maybe your ability to feel security stability maybe there was just some ungroundness or lack of feeling prosper okay and there's no judgment here because I feel that some of you, you really have like a grasp of why things happen a certain way. But it's as if this full moon wants to unleash this block, wants to unleash this memory. Remember Lilith right now is in the placement of Virgo and your earth moon sign that speaks of forgiveness and compassion. I feel that there's this, this call for you to forgive yourself for maybe how you perceived yourself and how it may have taken you to a different direction that you could have felt like, oh, it took you a longer time to achieve this or that. Stability, maybe. Financial stability, maybe. Some of you. But I see that what it gave you, though, it gives you a strong connection to your faith. To the faith of, of your own essence. To probably also become, I feel, uh, again, I'm feeling some things that I've never felt through those cards. It's almost like some of you, you have something very unique. A, a healer. Oh, I get chills everywhere on my right side. So my masculine, like... Definitely, there's some, someone, some, some of you watching this, that your own healing, your own path, especially with a very strong connection to spirit. I wouldn't be surprised also, angelic. We had that also with um, the fire moons. Star seeds, light workers, just just like some, some, some essence of yours that is meant to bring to society, to the community, something that is not just of value for you but for others. So let's see how we can get some support from Mother and Goddess Isis here for those energies here. Okay, interesting. Oof. my right ear started to ring so loud. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 
it's almost as if I, I, I want, you know what, you guys, I'm going to indulge. I'm going to indulge. You're going to bear with me because that's the cookie things I do for myself. Tone. Okay, uh, B. This is the letter B, the note B. And that connects you to, let me see this. Up. Do I have it here? Yes, here I have, not B sharp, B. I have some, some, the law of purpose connected to the universal gateway. See that, that's like, that's, that's one of the, that's the law of purpose. That's the word that we needed and through that sound. So whatever this card has, I started ringing, ringing to this specific note and it was a B, so, uh, what do you call it? C in French. I don't know. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si. Um, and it was a B4. So I'm the fourth octave. A fourth octave reminds me of the fourth dimension. So an astral, emotional mastery. Something that you had to learn emotionally for a very specific purpose that would give a gateway not to only yourself but others wow it's like if, oof, some of you you're just very very strong it's very activating for you and i i i i i'm feeling honored to receive this energy wow okay let's see what it says the dark mysteries wow the dark goddess calls you to the inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you the test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. Wow. Some of you, I haven't mentioned it to the other piles, but I still have until the 25th. And if I need to extend it a couple of days, I will. Um, the goddess within the dark, wild, feminine energy. So it's been very activating. I've been feeling actually those type of energy flowing through me uh, for some most of the readings of people that came to get activated by the goddesses in their chart. Okay. Um, this is so purposeful. You're going to have an abundant inflow that's going to pour from this very specific limitation that made you feel um, maybe unstable in the past. Because there's just almost like so much faith that actually is going to, to be grounded through you. That's what it is. Wow. You almost, you feel like a, some type of, of, of channel, of, of gatekeeper, gateway. I feel I want to put it up upright so I can feel. Yeah. Earth angel. Definitely. Let's get a supportive message from Goddess Kali that helps with transformation. What else do we need to know? This was so powerful. So powerful. So powerful. The parrot always reminds me of a certain spirit animal deck that says, watch your words. The words become worlds. You had to learn maybe very strong teachings about mindset, affirmations, what you tell yourself becomes. Here it says, she is the tantric queen of outcast. Wow. 
unveiling the hidden inner power to thrive outside conventional society. If you have been denied love and respect, she brings healing and empowerment. If you have suffered rejection, abandonment, or being labeled as unworthy in any way, she brings dignity and repair. She clears the way for a creative, joyful, and vibrant life path. I love this. This feels like, yeah, maybe some of you was the rejection that I was feeling like vacate, leave, something that was not given to you. Maybe to others in the family. But not to you. You could have had that black sheep, you know, karma. I attract a lot of my warriors like this, um, you know, according to certain placements. Those are powerful, powerful placements. This is where I have my DNA asteroid, the karmic warrior for unleashing those cycles. Some of you, you know, I do <laughs> do some, some special promotion, you guys, for those activation. I'm so excited for you because it feels like your time is coming up. Time is up for this sh to be done with. Okay, let's get some frequency healing, you guys. Let's get some frequency healing for um, my earth moons here. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one. Oh, yin frequency healing. Definitely you have the goddesses that want to speak with you, through you, for you. This is going to help with your intuition. You have access to this on my YouTube channel. By the way, for some of you, if... Uh, you want and or you already have your YouTube membership that gives you access to watching YouTube videos without any ads, they're actually giving you a free month to try out my memberships. So you can get access to different frequency and you can get access to other astrological readings. So that's, that, that is something I wanted to mention. And I wanted to mention, wow, it's 11-11. Remember this number as far as awakening your feminine and awakening the sacred power, grounding the sacred frequency. I got chills for you. That was just like unbelievable. I feel like like a, really a channel. Like I, like I can't remember everything that I said because it was so much. It was just so much and yet so beautiful and powerful. I'm going to have in 2024, upcoming very shortly, um, a true abundant nature playlist. We're going to alternate brainwave frequencies so we can get into those states of very strong awareness of whenever we fall off key with our um, manifestation, especially you, I feel that if you're going to become a master at this, you're going to be a master at this. Okay, that's all I have. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm like, sorry for the gushing and the, <laughs> just, I just feel almost like speechless now that I felt all of this. So um, that's what you have for this whole moon. Wow, that's not a little bit. That's a lot. <laughs> um, so if you need personal guidance or an activation, you can see in the description box what I have to offer. Thank you so very much. Be blessed. Namaste. Namaste.